Welcome to Swish, vintage finds for your sassy self. We hope you enjoy the videos and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Good morning. As you can see, I am solo again today. Uh, unfortunately, Natasha is a little bit under the weather, but uh, we're going to send her all the vibes and hope that she's feeling better in no time. Uh, so if you saw the reel that we posted yesterday on Instagram and also there was a little short on um, YouTube, you saw that uh, today we we're going to be featuring suits. So suits during COVID really tanked. Like the sale of suits, well, especially the really traditional suits. Um, we've had uh, male and female lawyers and clients who've come in and said uh, ever since 2020, they have not worn the traditional suiting to work. But um, in the last, I would say, six months, there's a resurgence, there's a real new trend happening, and, and they're coming back again, which is fantastic. Uh, our shop right now is just full of all kinds of suits from every decade. And the thing about suits, I'm not going to, I know I'm going to sound like a broken record, but you can wear them a million different ways. You can put a pair of boots on with them. You can put a rock t-shirt with them. You can um, do a turtleneck. You know, you don't have to do the blouse sort of thing with a suit. You can make it quite a bit more trendy and quite a bit more wearable. So I am going to just jump right in and start showing you some of the pieces that we have. And keep in mind, every single one of these, you can wear it uh, to work or for play, I guess, you know, for a, a day off or for work. Um, the other thing I wanted to just show you is, uh, or tell you about, is there's a designer called uh, Maison Margiela. And if you look at the 20, the, cur the current um, catalog of fashion, it blows my mind because what they've done is they've taken this sort of Ralph Lauren um, uh, houndstooth blazers and big oversized coats and stuff and then put those 1940s tuxedo scarf, this kind of thing, all the paisleys and mixing that pattern. And it's it's not really anything new. Uh, it's been around since forever, but it's, it's a really fresh take on that kind of look. And um, it's sort of been my inspiration for this, this collection today. Anyways, I'll just uh, start showing you some of these great pieces. So this one is made in Canada and it's by a brand called Highland Queen and it's 100% wool and it is absolutely divinely perfect for this kind of weather. So this is in a tweed. Of course, you can see it's grays and navy and um, black and then of course a little fleck of color here and there. I think all of the suits that I'm showing today are skirt suits. So this skirt has got a great cut to it. It's got these two front kind of kick pleats on it. Here's the back of it. And wear it with a pair of, a pair of docks or a pair of boots, or you could make it really, really uh, more classically fancy for a work setting. Now I've paired this one with this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous silk scarf. And this is the scarves that are being shown on so many different runways this year. I'll show you. You know, just like this. I mean, what more do you need? I could even wear this with this beautiful coat. I was just gifted this coat by somebody and I am so grateful. Anyway, so this scarf is $60. It's 100% silk. The suit... See, look at this pattern mixing, stunning. I just wanna wear it right now. The suit is 41 bust, 29 waist, 42 hip, and it's 160. This is really, really nice. So good way to start. Nothing is more classic than this pinstripe. So this is a navy pinstripe. It looks like what would have been, you know, menswear sort of suiting and it would have been you know, taken its inspiration from that. Uh, this is just impeccably made. I'm gonna say that over and over again. The vintage suits are really stellar. So 
This one, navy with the skirt, uh, no pockets. Most of the skirts don't have pockets. This has got this kick pleat here. It's really, really lovely. And again, can you just see this jacket just with a pair of jeans and a white t-shirt? Fantastic. So I have paired it with this paisley, really classic 40s scarf. This scarf is $35 and it's got the little blue in it. The suit is $195 and it's a good size, reasonably good size. It is a 30 inch waist on the skirt, which is great. The bust is 40 and the hips are 42. So probably about a size 8, 10. This is really nice. I'm gonna utilize this rack, otherwise everything's gonna be falling onto the floor. This is a suit that we got uh, in the summer and this is one that um, we just had laundered and had the uh, lining, the lining was hanging down so we had that mended from Angela. This has got this real chanel -y kind of vibe to it. It's in a little bit of a, a plaid uh, boucle wool. This one, uh, the lining has got still some issues to it, but you don't see the lining when you've got the suit on. Uh, this one measures 40, 29 waist, 38 hip, and this is $98. And again, you could put the Paisley scarf with this. You could put um, you know, a pair of jeans and a t-shirt, multiple strand pearls, and it'll have that real Chanel vibe to it. And again, this is 100% wool. All righty. This one is one of my favorites. I had this at home for a little while, but uh, it doesn't quite fit me. It's a little bit snug. And rather than have Angela redo it for me at this point, well, okay, I'll give it a little while. And if it doesn't sell, then I will have Angela fix it. What she can do is if there's a tartan skirt or these plaid skirts that are a little bit too small in the waist, sometimes she can open up a pleat one or two pleats and it doesn't ruin the line of the suit at all. Or, you know, you could just move the button. There's a whole bunch of solutions that you can do with a skirt that's too small in the waist. How classic is this? So this is the black watch plaid. Thank you, Jenny. She's the one that reminded us before that that's what this tartan is called. And this tights, boots, a kitten heel, anything. This is an old size 14, so it's the difference now in contemporary sizes. So an old size 14 is about a size six. This is $250 and um, you know what? I'm sorry, I don't have the measurements on it, but it's about a size four, six, maybe a 28 inch waist, something like that. Anyways, this is really beautiful. It's been dry cleaned. It belonged to a woman who was a pharmacist in the 50s and 60s, and this was one of her work outfits. So this is Gorge. You could wear that with pay. Oh, I think I have a scarf. I do. This is the scarf that I have paired this with. This is pretty stunning. When I was in Europe, I saw a whole bunch of these really um, amazing Italian weavings, I guess, or uh, textiles like, uh, like upholstery fabric or big shawls and stuff and they're all hand woven this one is likely not hand woven but look at how beautiful that is this is wool beautiful this is oh so funny i love the tag on it look it says all wool in case you were questioning my information this one is 45 dollars And this suit is on our website. For the life of me, I don't know why it hasn't sold. It's really gorgeous. This is the designer brand Louis Ferro. This has this really uh, special sheen kind of velvet. And then it's got the satin ribbon trim everywhere. So this one, you could wear this formally, of course, and again, or not. This one is 42. 31 and 42. That's a pretty decent size. Now this one was 250, but I would do 195 on this one. It's it's stunning. Look at that one with the white blouse or you know what I think would be nice is a white shirt with a man tie like a well, 
ties are not gender specific, but um, you know, you could just do a really gorgeous tie with a big Windsor knot or something and a strand of pearls or something, or just throw on a sc uh, scarf. This is a silk scarf, hand rolled hem, navy and mustard. Oh, this is by the brand Echo. And uh, if you, if you're a scarf person like myself, I've seen old pictures of department stores back in the day in the 40s and 50s where scarves were laid out in the cabinet, you know, behind glass, and you had to ask the salesperson to see them. And it was quite a quite a big thing. And scarves back then were really expensive. They weren't much less expensive than 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 what this is. But when you consider 40s and 50s, $45 would have been a lot. Anyways, $45 for that one. Whoops. See? throwing things around. Whoa. I'll go quickly. These are more earth tones. This suit, this is just magical. So this is a tweed with this beautiful mint collar. This one is on our Etsy site. So if you want all the details and stuff, you can check it out on Etsy. Uh, gorgeous lining. This one is... 42, 35 inch waist, 40 inch hip, 295. You know, if you were going out on a day where you're just getting in and out of your car, this jacket with the fur trim would be great just as a, just as a jacket instead of a coat. Sometimes if you know you're gonna be shopping or if you're gonna be in and out of stores all day, you don't wanna wear a great big coat. Um, this one we just got in and this is, a hound's tooth, but a small hound's tooth. This is kind of in a uh, ivory and gray or almost like a, a light, light, light blue. Again, this is a skirt suit. This is from one of our customers who has really beautiful style and she has always had clothing either made specifically for her or, you know, um, she buys, anyway, she buys amazing pieces. This is a bespoke one. So if you're not familiar with that term, it just means that it was custom made for her. This is from the company Henry Singer. So Henry Singer is a menswear store here in the city, but they used to do custom uh, work for women as well. Like, could you get any more beautiful or classic than this? This is a really fine wool gabardine. This one's a little bit smaller. This is a 36 bust, 25 inch waist and a 36 hip. This one's 260. And this is, I put this with this beautiful scarf that's got the blues that pick up the blues and the grays in that. So this scarf is 48. This one is a knit suit. Can't forget about knit suits. This one is St. John's. It's got a little bit longer uh, jacket on it, like a cardigan. And then there's a knit skirt with it. I love, love, love gold. So this has some really beautiful gold buttons on it. And it's got this Nehru collar, which is another favorite of mine. So this one I have paired with this beautiful scarf. This scarf is actually Oscar de la Renta and it is silk. And it's got these little medallions with olive and um, mustard and brown. The scarf is 70 and the St. John's knit is about a size 10, 12. It's one ninety five. I mean, St. John's, their knitting mills are, are known throughout the world as, you know, the top, 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 top knitwear. Anyways, there's that suit. Where are we? Okay, really quick. This is a 1940s. I can't do a, a, a show or a thing on suits without showing a 40 suit. Look at the cut on that. So this is gonna come in at the waist and it's got the little bit exaggerated shoulders. That's why all the 80s designers like Terry Mugler and, and um, Alaya and all of them kind of did that uh, uh, 40s influence. This is gorgeous, self-covered buttons. This one, it's one of my favorites in the store. And then I've put it with the classic 40s scarf with the fringes. So this suit is 38, 28 and 40 hip for 225, magnificent. The scarf is 40. So I don't have time to do another suit, but um, we're going to be having a customer appreciation coming up. Uh, we're also going to be starting our monthly um, 
charity donation uh, project like we did uh, last year and the year before, or more so the year before. So if there's any not-for-profits or charities that you love, reach out to me, let me know who your favorite is. Anyways, thanks for watching. We're open today till five. See you soon.